Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over how to segment your email list in MailChimp. So this is super important for you whenever you're doing email marketing because it lets you send an email to a targeted group of people on your email list and sending out instead of sending out this mass email to people who may not you know, like it or engage with it at all, so you have a low open rate and a low click-through rate. So by segmenting your list, you can actually, through MailChimp, segment them for a ton of different things. You can segment them based on location, based on if they opened or clicked a link in your last email, if they've recently purchased from your store, if they've never purchased from your store, or if they've purchased over a certain amount, like you can target your VIP customers who've spent over $500. So there are so many more ways to segment your list and we are going to hop into my computer now and I'm going to show you how to get this set up in MailChimp. Okay, so we are in the back end of my MailChimp account now. So we have just logged in and we're on just the home screen. But to segment our next campaign, we're going to come up here to campaigns in the top left hand corner. And you can see here all of our recent campaigns that we're doing as well as our automated campaigns, which you can see here. But to segment our list, we're gonna just hit create campaign in the top right hand corner. And we're gonna just choose create an email. And we're gonna keep this a regular email instead of automated or plain text. And I'm just gonna name this test. Okay. And we'll hit begin. So in setting this up, this actually goes through before you set up the design, which is down here in the, the one of the last steps. But in this first step here, we're gonna hit add recipients. We're gonna choose our list. So we just have one that's connected to our Shopify store. And then here in the segment box, this is where you can see some of the predefined ones that are already there. So you can go ahead and choose to send this just to new subscribers, recent customers, first time customers, female, male, age groups, or you can go ahead and create a new segment. So to do that, we're gonna hit group or new segment. Oh, and I also wanna mention that if you wanted to send to everyone on your list, you would just keep this as all subscribers on list. We'll hit group or new segment. And you can see here, now we have options below. So contacts match any of the following conditions. So that would be if we add multiple conditions here, as well as we have different drop downs that we can choose. So date added could be if they were sent the last campaign, which was this um, date here, if it was after. So if you wanna resend that campaign, you can also select here and you can choose from all of the options here. So you see you have e-commerce totals, um, information in terms of the, the subscriber data. So we could choose to, if they have been added, so we'll do date added is after the last campaign. And we could also choose to add in another filter by adding, hitting the add button here and choosing from here. So if we wanted it to be that the, the date was added after the last campaign, as well as order total is equal to a certain amount. So if they've had a total number of, you know, two orders, or we could go in and say spent on one order or spent total. So this is if you want it to be more than or less than, and you can choose that there of really selecting if they're, you know, a VIP, you could put, you know, if they've spent more than $100, then this email goes out to them. And it could be specifically for your VIP people. You can also choose to delete something by hitting this here. Or if you want to make it to where they have to match all of the conditions, so they have to be added into your email list after this date and already have spent $100, then you would want to make sure that that's at all or you can choose it to any so it goes to either so this is where you'll just go through and you'll want to play around with all of the different options here so you can really build out some very targeted information by just going through and messing around with 
the different options that you ha have here. So all of the subscriber data is going to be based on MailChimp information and all of the e-commerce stuff is going to be pulled in from your Shopify store. So if you haven't linked to your Shopify store, we will go ahead and put a link in the description below this video to show you how to go in and do that. But once you have this set up, you will just hit save and you'll continue on to the rest of building out your email campaign of choosing um, your subject line, who's sending the campaign, as well as designing the campaign as well. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I would love for you to comment below and tell me how you are wanting to segment your list for your next email campaign. Also make sure to subscribe to get new email updates every single day whenever we post a new video all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.